Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the Zelda Sound YouTube channel. My name is Donald Odom and thanks for joining me today. I wanted to discuss how to fix a one-sided audio track, meaning you have a stereo audio track. Um, whether that be Wave, MP3, it doesn't really matter. It could be an AMP4, um, but you're only getting one side of the audio, meaning you're getting either the left in one ear or the left side in your left ear and the right side in your right ear, and it's just not not working right. Uh, you can only hear one side of the audio. Uh, so I have a Focusrite solo interface and right now I'll show you my audio hardware setup. Ooh, that's my screen cap software. If you go to audio hardware, you can see um, it's a Scarlett solo USB which is the Focusrite solo USB and my output is the Telestream audio capture so um, my screen recording software ScreenFlow can hear this. So we're going to click OK, and we're going to create a new audio file. You can do Command, Shift N, or uh, let's see what that was. Shift Command N, so Shift Command N, whatever. Type in Test, and let's record. Now, this is coming from a brand new, just got it today. I was using a 2i2, but I wanted to use a solo. I had another application for a 2i2, and all I usually use in my office is one mic anyway. So let's see what happens. Check 1-1, one, one, hey 1-1-2, one, one, check 1-2, one, hey 1-1-2, one, one, two, one, two, check. Now, if this audio um, track was normal, you'd see below this middle line here, that's the right channel of audio. There's nothing there. So here's how we fix that. We're going to disengage using this button here the right side of the audio track. You're going to Command A to select the entirety of the left track. Command C. Now, click out of that. Uh, and um, re-enable the right side. Make sure your cursor again is all the way back to the beginning. Disengage the left side and Command V to paste. And that is literally all you have to do to fix that problem. Get rid of the beginning. Get rid of the end. Normalize it. Check one one. Hey one one two. Check one two. Hey one one two one two. Check. Check one one. Hey one one two. Check one two. So you can see, it worked. What we did worked fantastically. Um. Again, that's just an easy fix. Now, I'm not saying uh, if you have an MP4 track or a WAV file, the right side of the track might be different from the left side of the track originally. If you're like ripping a CD or whatever you're doing, um, but this is a this is a temporary fix. You know what I mean? Or it is a permanent fix um, to a otherwise complicated problem. I don't really know how to do this in. Well, first of all, I don't have Audacity on this machine, so I can't even try it. I'm sure there's a way to do it in Audacity um, to convert. You can also convert it mono. I'm sure there's like an online conversion or something you can do um, like that. But as far as Audition goes, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple stuff. If you have any further questions on Audition or anything you'd like to add, throw it in the comments below. If it's a question and I can't answer it down there, if it's too complex, go over to... Uh, support.zavasound.com uh, so long that you're a patron at patreon.zavasound.com and I would be glad to help you. Alright guys, again my name is Donald Odom. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you guys learned something. Alright, bye bye.